Well, fella YouTubers. So the question is, is the glass hive half empty? And of YouTube watchers? Or half full? I just got done watching a depressing video. The whole Billy Beekeeping has had a loss of two hives. And he says it's due to procrastination. I'm not going to fall for that anymore. I'm going to get it done. I've got a problem. These are recyclable bags. You're supposed to reuse them multiple times. It's supposed to stop the problem that we have with those plastic bags and killing all kinds of animals and making our world a mess. Problem is, these only get used once because when you do shop at home, they can't reuse them because they're contaminated with your touching them, I guess. So they get used once and then we throw them away. So I've got some hives that need some pillows. And instead of buying fabric from the dollar store or something to make pillows, why not reuse something that's just going to go in the landfill anyway? So I did some calculation. And with one of these bags, it comes out to exactly 10 frames wide. If, that means from here to the end, I just need this little bit more. And I'm going to use my Harbor Freight scissors. They're only a couple bucks. They're nothing but plastic, except for this little piece of metal that cuts. And if you're hard on them, see the tape? They break. So a little electrical tape, you get a couple more times out of it, and then you throw them away too, because that's what we do in America. So these straps, they're strong. But I will tell you a secret. They're also very weak. They're using some type of a heat to melt the plastic together. And that's how they're on. So sometimes you can't even get one time out of them and the bag falls apart. So now this goal is to take these two and make them one. Something happened and I lost everything. So a serger makes a fancy stitch like this. It has these stitches that go over the edge, supposed to stop it from fraying, and then it has a straight stitch, two of them in the back, and they're interwove together. My serger broke. So the process of making a fake serger stitch, I'm gonna try making a straight stitch. Afterwards, I'm going to make a zigzag stitch like that and pretend we're doing surging. And the end result is going to be some goofy looking thing like that. We'll see how it goes. So this is where the serger left off, and this is where the fake surging begins. First, we'll start with the straight stitch. And as you can see, something happened, and it didn't stitch a doggone thing. Bottom bobbin ran out of thread. And static electricity is fighting me. It won't let me go near it, so I'm going to lick it. That way the static electricity is gone. 
and hopefully we can stick it through this little hole. Like a Q, I believe. I really don't know. We're going to restring our string. Now we're going to lick it, stick it through the needle. Rotate this through. Once it's been through once, the string pops up. Get them back through the back. Close our door. And once again, we're going to try and do this stitch where everybody seems to be failing. I'm going to forward, go backward, forward, backward. That should lock in the stitch. And now we're now going to proceed to finish. Now we're going to set our zigzag stitch again. And we're also going to make this a lot narrower so the stitches are closer together. Now we're going to lock that in and go normal stitch forward and backwards. And guess what? I made a mistake. I actually made it, and so it has to be turned around. So the advertising is going to be on the outside. Bugger, 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 bugger. Oh well. Not until recently did anybody mention about the uh, fiberglass in a beehive and the concern about it getting into honey. Let's try something different. There's our pillow. 55 degrees out here tonight. The top's wet, but not frozen. Got our pillow keeping the top warm. Got our two inch insulation. And our little baffle to keep the seams from leaking air. And we got a couple bees hanging around at the top. Still got some sugar water to go. Looks like they're moving around a little bit tonight. Nobody on the outside edges. They're not in a tight cluster anymore, but they have lots of space over here that's not being occupied. We're gonna take out these extra frames. We got some pollen. Got an empty frame. Got some more pollen. Got lots of honey. I think we'll leave that in there for them. Got a little bit of honey on that one. Let's see if we can leave that out. We got one that they're starting to fill up with some nectar. But nothing on the other side. Looks like they got about three frames of bees. We'll fill in this extra void. So they don't have to fight over the space. What we'll do is we'll take the empty side 
this empty side, we'll put that toward the pillow. Because they won't be able to access that once I put the pillow in there. Put the lid back on before they get too excited. We'll put the pillow back in the top. Then we'll put the lid back on. We'll knock off these extra bees. And put this pollen back in the storage. Maybe we'll give it to somebody else. So the question is, is the glass hive half empty or half full? Either way, we're going to fill it, keep them tight, maybe they'll do better. Thanks for watching.